really hearty mazel tov. You did a beautiful job chanting the Torah and the Haftarah portion. Your speech is really thought-provoking. I can tell you put a lot of effort into it. And I hope that the congregation is thinking deeply about everything that you said. There's a beautiful teaching from Kirabot, the ethics of the fathers. A sage, Akavya ben Mahalalel, tells us that we should always think about three things. This will keep us on the right path. He tells us we should think about where we're coming from, where we're going, and who it is that we need to answer to. He gives very general answers to these questions that are good for everyone. But let's talk about you for a minute. Where are you coming from? You grew up in this community, had the privilege of seeing you grow up since your bris. Feels like a very long time ago, especially since you're being brought into the five or how old you are. You have excelled in public school and in our Hebrew school. Our teachers rave about you. You have a lot of hobbies. You're an excellent athlete, baseball and soccer, all-star. I'm particularly proud of you, the work you've done at playing piano. You've been studying it since you were very young, playing recitals. I enjoy them. I've been to them. You have a loving relationship with your family. Your parents say you're the best son. Your sister, who you fight with some of the time, said is a decent guy, which I think is a very high compliment from an eight-year-old. So that's where you're coming from. Where are you going? Bar Mitzvah. It's very important to remember that's not the culmination of your Jewish education. There's so much more that you can learn, and there's so much more you can do. But I'm not only talking about your Jewish education. In our conversation beforehand, you told me that you want to be a doctor. Now I can tell you, my parents would be very proud of you. I'm sure yours are for that ambition. It's a long way off. And it's a lot of work before then. But I hope that whatever you decide to do, whether it's a doctor, whether it's something else, you always keep up that drive, that push that you feel to do something and to be great at it. That's where you're going. And the final piece of Akavya's advice is something that's important for all of us. Know who you need to answer to. Remember, or as our tradition says it nicely, in a nicer way in another place, know before whom you are standing. God, and with you so far, I means it's important to keep God with you at all the time at all times. One of the reasons we wear a yarmulke on our head, even before Bar Mitzvah, is to remind us that God is a presence in our lives. God is above us. I think if you take the time every day to remember that God is with you you will be able to keep up those wonderful attributes you've developed to this point. Mazal Tov.